What's up, Peach Cactus family? This is Andrew here with a quick follow-up video for the Razer mouse and keyboard that I did yesterday. And I wanted to kind of give you some quick follow-ups here and some clarifications and whatnot. So as you can see, they're both in sync. The, uh, the logo and the actual wheel outline, as well as the ambientness underneath the keys are all in sync together. And I'm using uh, one of the quick effects and I downloaded the beta software for uh, Synapse from Razer. And I'm using Spectrum Psych when I've got them both linked together, which is one of the many things you can do. I've played with all of these. They're pretty amazing. Um, but I like Spectrum Cycling for now. And probably Reactive and Ripple. Those are pretty cool. But you can do advanced effects, as you can see right here. So you can do advanced effects and go in and program individual keys like your gaming WASD for example or you can program other parts of the keyboard but they're all pretty cool so I wanted to share that first I love the uh, wrist guard it's actually magnetic so you can actually hear it it actually snaps in there very beautifully I'm not gonna pick it up but uh, it's pretty cool so that is one of the cool things there and one thing I did want to point out I actually swapped out this what I called a trigger or whatever yesterday this is actually a DPI dampener so as you can see here I'll demonstrate here on the screen you can see that I've got the mouse moving pretty quickly if I press that little switch then it slows the mouse down extremely slowly it's like a clutch or a dampener so that's probably more precise if you're doing maybe photo video editing and need to touch up a certain spot or if you're playing a, a video game and you need to actually jump into a small little section and stop shooting bad guys or something and you need to pick up some loot or something you can real quickly press that so it's pretty cool I'm gonna give it a try but it also comes with a couple other pieces this is the original one they're metal the two actual dampener clips are the other piece right here this one's actually rubber so if I end up not needing or not wanting to use those I can just put the rubber one in there and then that'll just kind of close that off all together so these are your DPI profiles so if you'll notice let me open uh, notepad this will be easier to show you so as I have notepad open I can push the buttons up and it changes my the DPI profile all the way up to 16,000 now when I move the mouse you can't even see it neither can I it's very I have to be very very slow when I move it or I can use the dampener clip which brings it right back down to nothing basically but I can push these buttons put it back on three and you'll see that I can change to the different DPI settings for the mouse I like 4500 it's not too bad but 1800 is probably a pretty good sweet spot so you can go into the settings and actually change what those are and still use the dampener to slow it down so you still got some options so that's that, and the mouse pad, obviously, nothing fancy as far as special tricks or anything is going to do, but what I did read is that the uh, optical sensor in here is kind of tuned for their own mouse pad series, so you can also uh, have that as an effect as well, too. So it picks up, and as soon as you pick up where the mouse is, it stops moving if you literally lift the mouse. Uh, so regular mice may do that but this one's been very active very purposefully uh, working correctly so I do like that feature so as far as that goes um, you have some other settings here for the keyboard you can customize uh, the mouse I got them both in the software I've I disabled the side buttons these were like browser front and back buttons I don't really care for those uh, I might repurpose them but that's the cool part you can do what you want with them it doesn't matter so there's my quick update and I'll see you next time